like walk us through what what does jury even do yeah so it is a ticketing system but it goes beyond that as well uh, where we can actually split our work in different iterations or in different um so let's say oh nice yeah, so, so different can, phases exactly different phases and you can clearly see see that in a roadmap that we work on can we put something on the screen that yes, we can of see of course this is what a Jira board looks like at Simply PHP, right? So, Very nice. um, so you have so when you click on board where um, where Kyler is right now, you have different task, different statuses, um, and this is what oh, we use on, okay. across all of our projects um, at Simply. So, blocked is, let's say, so um, I'm working on something, and then for for example, bug number one, ticket ZTP fourteen. Mm -hmm. I can't replicate it. So that's oh, why I'm blocked. So okay. I need to ask the client to give me more information or to yeah provide the steps uh, that the client did um, exactly so we can try to rep replicate in different environment uh, that bug. Awesome. So the client's saying, look, when I click on this and that, this bug is happening. Yeah. And when we do it, it's working as expected, as normal. <laughs> yeah. So that's when you put it into a blocked issue. There you go. So Is there any other time it would be in blocked? Yep. Yeah. So let's say that I'm working on any type of feature. Um, let's say that I'm working on a payment system. And then I've worked on uh, creating all of the fields, for example. But there are there is something else that is blocked. Like I can't create all of these fields because there are some dependencies and I have to move over to that other feature before I can finish that field. So that's oh, what it means that it. I'm blocked. I cannot finish that requirement because I have to work on something else before I can address that feature. Gotcha. So anything that would cause uh, a developer to say, hey, I, I was working on this, but I've hit a roadblock and I cannot fix it myself. I need help from either you, V, because yeah. it could be a business question too. Yeah. I need help from the client. Yeah. I need help from, from, from a sysadmin. Yeah. We have two full-time sysadmins at Simply PHP. So that's why it's super important if they get blocked and it's... Uh, server issue yeah. they don't have to create a ticket with some third party they just mm -hmm. knock on one of our and our sysadmins are here every day by the way in the mm -hmm. office uh in progress in progress pretty self-explanatory so um when you are the only developer working on a project you shouldn't have more than one ticket ah. in, in progress right and that's also another instance where yeah where you would be in progress onto the feature but you become blocked because you have to work on something else. So you would have to take that ticket and move it back over to blocked. So these cards are really easy to navigate between, you know, uh, all of these statuses. They're drag and drop. Have you ever seen more than one ticket in the in progress column? I have. Is that a problem with pe with people like, like not managing their Jira properly, like having several things open and all of that stuff? Well, uh, we try to make sure that it doesn't happen because we meet with our devs every day um, across all of our projects. So we try to make sure that it doesn't happen. But then sometimes, you know, you have to have, it does happen that yeah, you, you have two tickets that are in progress as well because you're kind of just working both uh, on these features at the same time. Um, mm. So, it, yeah, so there's always a gray area, but yeah. we try as much as possible to keep only one ticket um, in the in-progress um, column. But if you are two developers, three developers, four developers working on the project, well, yeah. you'll have more tickets in the in-progress as well. That's great Naturally. for, that's, that's super awesome for, I just said super awesome. That's really great for a client or any type of manager to come in here and see, okay, who's working on what? Yeah. Uh, is there anything that's blocked? Like the first thing I would do is go into the blocked issue and say, okay, is, you know, is this something that, you know, has been blocked for a long time? Yeah. Uh, just so you can not micromanage, but kind of follow up on, on some stuff and mm -hmm. just not have any surprises. For me, this is the biggest thing as a, as a company owner or C-level executive manager, whatever, to me, this is a way not to get surprised about anything, mm -hmm. all right? As long as it's up to date properly. Yeah. Okay. That's... And we're working hard on on keeping it up to date. We are providing transparency to our clients mm -hmm. by, you know, using Jira. So that's the reason why we try to keep it as, you know, to, to keep it as updated as we can. Nice, nice. Okay, staging. 
So staging, so I'm done finishing working on my feature. So I, I moved it over to staging. Usually staging is the cue. Okay, client, you're ready to go test. So on your plate, you have feature number two and feature number three, uh, three to test. Okay. And then uh, what we would do, so the client would go on staging, on the testing environment, make sure that feature two and three is working as expected. Mm -hmm. If it is not working as expected, uh, uh, Kyler, if you just want to click on uh, feature two there. So that's, you know, the description. Usually there is a description in the description description box there okay but um just underneath there in on their activity you have the comment section so mm -hmm. the client is uh, you know invited to provide all of you know uh, what is not working or they cannot there you go or they okay. can <laughs> they can say yes uh this feature is approved so that way you know we keep all the conversations centralized into the ticket okay. um, oh that's pretty simple so basically yeah. if i go and test i say uh okay looks good except you know there's one little thing or 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 actually you know doesn't work at all yeah then you put your notes there your comments there yeah and then i guess you do you assign it to someone or how does that work after um, so they can just say approved in staging. And as I said, we keep a very close eye. So, uh, in the morning we check what was approved mm -hmm. in staging or usually, you know, the client will, and I will be just talking as well and say, Hey V, I, I, um, I tested feature two uh, and three. So they're, they're approved. Um, so when we know that it's approved in staging, we can go ahead and kind of just drag and drop, um, that ticket over to approved in staging. And that okay. is a call for us. Okay, so we're ready. We're now ready to schedule a date to deploy these features over to the production environment. Yeah, that's nice. So we'll know all of the features that are approved in staging. Yep. They'll all be there in that column. But now if there is something that you're not happy about or it's not working as expected or there's another bug or whatever, yep. then you make your comments and then you put it into, scroll a little bit left, Kyler. I think it's, is it bug the first column or something? So you're right, Tony. So if, for example, feature number two was not, in this case, feature three was uh, didn't pass the test, it would go back into the to-do column. Okay, cool. So I would make my comments in it. And I'll say, yeah. hey, this is actually not working as expected, or it is, but if you can just like do this, tweak it or improve it, yeah, I'll send it back to to-do. Yeah. I'll assign it to whomever. Yeah. They, they assign to the developer, I guess, right? Uh, or the manager? Yeah, uh, usually it's assigned to the developers. The all, developers, yeah. yeah. All, all okay. the way. This looks beautiful, right? The mm -hmm. Jira looks great. Yeah. Do people actually use it? Is it something that everyone is really, really plugged into? Oh, yeah. Because, yeah, that's uh, great. Yeah, because before um, our ERP, I mean, what we have created for in-house development, mm -hmm. um was great for what we needed at that time um but now you know simply php has grown a lot mm -hmm. which is great yeah. so we needed uh, something that you know people really wanted to use as well and we found that the responsiveness and everyone is really keeping their task up to date oh, and right. everyone is really collaborating within jira as well um so so it's it's been a great tool and our clients as well really it does reduce the amount of back and forth uh, email back and forth that you have with the clients too because all of the communications happen in jira right so yeah. we can keep track as well of how because that's what happens usually in software development we start with an idea and then this feature becomes something else and something else and something else and something else and then you're you know some something that we thought was going to take one day is now taking three days and mm -hmm. we're like oh what happened oh well we did change this we didn't we did change that as well so we can keep track of the changes that happen in that feature uh on the ticket yeah i think that's so that's great that's great news that since we moved to jira people enjoy using it more yeah because yeah it would it would be unfortunate if we had this awesome tool and then people were not really using it or just updating it on friday afternoon mm -hmm. or something like that that would kind of uh kind of suck well this is my baby right yeah so, so yeah. everyone has to everyone has yeah. to use it <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember you were there. I fought for this for a long yeah. time. So that's why. And, and the thing is, there was not much resistance as well. Everyone was really stoked 
to move over to Jira and to use it. So nice. I didn't have to push that hard. Oh, uh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> so what was then like, could you specify the biggest benefits in switching over to Jira and for like for Simply? For Simply, I think that uh, given providing that level of transparency to our clients as well has been uh, extremely beneficial because that's something that we pride ourselves on doing at Simply. Um, and also for our developers too, because when you do software development, it can get really messy real quick. So mm, it really yeah. keeps the house and all projects super organized. Um, and, you know, yeah, so that is one of the massive benefits. But another one as well, which is called a roadmap, um, mm -hmm. that's, uh, um, that's something that Jira offers as well. So if you click yeah, on roadmap over there, that's kind of where we, we do our iterations. So iterations is... Oh, um, this is nice. So yeah, so you'll, you'll know that it. in a period of like two and a half weeks or two weeks in this case, we will be working on these tasks. So you can keep track of that and you can also do some export and it's very easy to kind of just send that export to our clients too. So our clients do know what's coming up this week, mm -hmm. next week, and then in the weeks to come as well. Very, very cool. So now that, that uh, what color is that? I'm colorblind. Is that purple or blue That's or something? purple. So that purple bar that Kyler has his hand on, mm -hmm. um, that is a result of estimates or timelines that are inputted into the various tickets yeah that's right okay yeah. well that's really cool yeah man i would love this if i was a client this is great so obviously the bigger projects i know this is a this is a test yeah. obviously you know you, you, you i guess a real uh, project would have a lot more uh, stuff going on. Oh yeah, for <clears> sure. <throat> and they do change, you know, Roam apps do change quite a lot too because mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the reason why we don't, majority of our projects, we don't work uh, using rigorous agile um, because our client needs this level of flexibility because their priority change, their business priorities change quite often too. So mm -hmm. we need to be able to be adaptable to their needs. Um, hence why we use um, iterations instead of sprints. So that's why it kind of just allows us to uh, move tasks around quickly and reshuffle priorities uh, pretty simple without going through like this whole sprint process that I'm not going to get into. Yeah, yeah, of um, course. But yeah, it's been it's been great for our clients, but also to for our devs to kind of keep track of what on what's next has been extremely helpful to them too. Yeah, that's fantastic. Anything that's beneath code um, is all developer related. Uh, okay. So there's nothing really to go over, but just quickly code and deployment is that in fact uh, we do, I believe that you spoke about code repositories. Yeah, um, GitHub, GitLab. Yeah, exactly recently so uh yeah. we connect our tickets to the code repository so of yeah. course we do so that's great that so it's very amazing. easy for a dev to know okay well this is the branch that i'm working on equals yeah. that ticket so that's something that we have um integrated uh, implemented um a few weeks ago so that's because the thing is with jira is such a monster so it takes time takes time to set up mm -hmm. um but this is finally done um, yeah, we've worked with a lot of clients that have that already set up, obviously. Yeah. Um, that's a kind of like a no-brainer. Yeah. You know, you got to have your... So your code repository is actually... Or Jira is linked to your code repository. Right. Yeah. So that you could actually... I don't know how that works, but... So for example, like if I if a bug happened in May 2020 and it does re-happen on May 2021, so yeah. it's very easy to trace back because we're like, oh, okay, that happened. So you look for the ticket over in Jira and then you can see exactly the branch that you were working on at that oh, time. Oh, nice. So you know exactly what the solution of the, the, the fix was. And your comments so, at that time, yeah. you can go back there and say, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. There you go. And then sometimes yeah. it can take up to three, four weeks, five weeks to fix an issue. So you yeah. cut on a lot of time yeah. because all of that conversation happened within that ticket there. So that's yeah. a benefit. And you don't have to go through all of your branches so yeah, you do save a lot of time. Very cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very cool. So now the the new subject is uh, time logs, time yeah. sheets. So we have our our people log their time. Mm -hmm. So they they log their time in Jira. Yeah. All right. 
And then every week, so whatever we do from Monday to Friday for a client, whether it's full 40 hours or eight hours or whatever, mm -hmm. they get the following Monday, they get a full time, rep uh, a full time sheet yep. report. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So what they will see on that report. So for example, that we worked on 40 hours for a client. The client will receive uh, the name of the feature that was worked on and as well as the description, the date uh, of the time that we of we uh, of us working on that feature with mm -hmm. the description and how much time we spent on that feature. As well. Excellent. Yeah. So that's even in a even in a staff augmentation situation. Yeah. They get those reports. Uh, yeah. That would be fun if. If they're using a couple of different companies and then simply PHP sends them those reports every Monday and all of that stuff and the other companies don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that makes us stand out. I love that. Yeah. Again, it's all about staying transparent. And mm -hmm, I love yeah. that we walk the talk because a lot of companies say that, but yeah. it's not reflective of, the, of their operations. But to mm -hmm. us, it's extremely important. And our timesheet reports as well as Jira is what it is, right? In daily communication uh with our clients too yeah mm -hmm. see that's 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 funny because as you're as you're explaining that to me i'm remembering like you know because it's you know it's over a decade that we're in business right so i'm remembering where the way that we used to work like you know five six years ago or 10 years ago where we would not share any timesheets mm -hmm. with anyone and we would send the invoice at the end of the 30-day cycle and then, you know, the client would be just surprised and not aware of what was happening. So that's why we implemented the system of every single week. Not only do you have access, obviously, to JIRA, because mm -hmm. the clients all have access to their JIRA. Yeah. Not only do you have access, but you also get a report every every Monday. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. That's really Yeah, really we've cool. come a long way. And I think yeah. that, you know, even recently when we moved over to lugging our time into JIRA, there were some things before that we were, you know, the time spent, I think, on each on each feature was not or it yeah, I don't I don't think Oh, we didn't have the capability to show it. Yeah, so I, yeah, there it was, was a limitation very, there. It was a bit yeah. vague. Yeah, that's right. But now it's just it's very clear. Yeah. So yeah, yeah Oh yeah, it was like Monday to Friday, 40 hours. 40 hours. Development and, stuff. And the description stuff. Now <laughs> now you have the description and the, the task title and the time spent. Yeah. So that's definitely something um, that, yeah, we, we change all the time, right? And that's what yeah. I, I love about us is because we listen to, you know, our clients and mm -hmm. we deliver to yeah. that. So. That's the only way to go. We yeah. find out that's yeah. the only way to go because yeah. there's less yelling. Yes. Yeah. And I have to deal with the, the yelling. And yeah. uh, there there hasn't been much yelling happening. Lately, no, so there hasn't great. been much yelling. Yeah. 